Hey guys, so uh, last time, last video, I had mentioned that I left one node uh, out of the OpenStack cloud this time. And hopefully today, we're going to figure out how to add capacity to OpenStack. Log into Maz there. Let's bring up the Maz GUI too. Okay, so you can see this guy here. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, you can see this guy here. He's ready, but uh, he didn't get added to the cloud. So I want to try to add him as a compute node. Now, adding him via Juju shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, let's pull up our content here. Jump into Juju. Get a status on it. I'm pretty sure you can just add unit Nova Compute, uh, and it will pick. You you can do by the server name. So if you went server name dot mass, you could do that. But I think since we're, there's just one node, he'll just grab whatever. Um. But this is the external one, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't grab anything. Yeah, so he probably doesn't know anything about it. Let's um Let's get into the internal landscape juju where the compute nodes are. Cloud definitely runs a little slower without that other node. So let's GG status here. So now we're in the internal GG, if you remember from the other video. Uh, so there's a Nova compute. Uh, I think, like I said, I think we can just do a GG add dash unit Nova dash compute and now he should have went to mass and said hey you got any nodes available and he'll say yes and he'll start deploying it uh, let's check the GUI there he goes so uh, let's let this deploy uh, and when he's done I'll be back Okay, looks like he's done. Uh, yeah, I just pulled up the GUI here. Let's log into. It. So now, uh, this is the first time I've been in here since the creation. Uh, let's do it the easy way. Go over to machines, and we added that DC. There's our fourth machine, Nova Compute. Now he's not going to stack any LXC containers on it. He's just going to give you, I mean, I guess you could probably, I'm not sure how, you could probably migrate some of this stuff, but this is just giving you horsepower here. It's not going to spread it out like it did during the landscape install. I think you could probably move them around. You can migrate from one machine, but that'll be a different video. But that is our machine. Um, nope, we don't want to destroy it. And it gives you a little better information here somewhere. Nova Compute. Let's uh, go back to here. This guy. One hook failed. Let's try to resolve it. Three units running. What is number three? should tell you the name of the machine. There you go. So we're good on that. Uh, let's try to resolve it. I didn't check it. We'll come back to that. Nova Compute Zero's got a problem. Don't know why. 
Oh, now he's good. Ah, good. Everybody's happy. So, let's go back to landscape. I'm not sure how landscape is going to deal with that new machine. I don't think he'll know anything about it because he doesn't have the landscape controller software on there. Um, that's OpenStack. Computers. Yeah, see, he doesn't know about that new machine. Let's uh, see if we can get him in there. You have to go... So there's a thing, if you want to add. Uh, it's in standalone account. Register a new computer. Update repositories. Install the client. With this. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, that new guy and get out of here is 156 so we should be able to age Ubuntu at 10.1.1.156 yes please okay let's just sudo apt update make sure everything's good you can see that it needs a bunch of upgrades So let's do upgrade. Uh, what? Temporarily unavailable. Oh, just a hitch, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's upgrade it real quick. Uh, I'm going to upgrade it and then I'm going to. Uh, reboot it. I'll pause the video so you don't have to. Okay, he's back up. That new node compute node. We updated it, like they said. Let's see if we can install the client. And you don't have to have all your machines in landscape. It's not that big a deal, but it's nice. And I just want to see if I can do it. So, go get this thing. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to want to register it. That is a big command right there and it kind of goes off the page. Okay, it's already there, landscape client. So what just happened that? Why did we do that? Um, so, landscape config, computer, that doesn't matter. Uh, let's back up here. Computer title, We want. I'm just going to put in the node name. Okay. It's a standalone account. That's what we have. Uh, message. This is the API for uh, landscape. Okay, now they want a key. Uh, don't have a proxy. Don't have a proxy. Uh, no. Access group, we don't have any. Tags, don't really have any. Yeah, let's request registration. Okay. Now let's go over here and no pinning computers, eh? Oh! I don't think we... he went to 4, he was sitting at 5. Uh, computers? There it is! Awesome! Cool. So I have it twice though. Let's check it again. He knows what it is. He's accepted. That's good. 
I think I can just go in and remove I it must be from the first time I tried it and failed. Um this guy. Yeah, no activity. I'm just gonna remove this one. Remove it. He's still there. He knows what he is. Boom. Done. Alright. Awesome. Okay. Now let's go into OpenStack. Uh and check and see now that the node's in landscape. Let's check and see, make sure everything looks right over there. In the OpenStack tab. Let's pull that guy open. Was already logged in. Admin. Let's go to hypervisors. Okay. You can see the new nodes there. He's got two CBUs and now our new maximum is eight. That looks good. The compute host, so when Landscape built this cloud, the OpenStack cloud, we were built in zone, this zone region one of one. Uh, anything that you do with that, with those juju commands, like if you had Nova Compute or if you had Sender or something like that, it's going to throw it in one, its own zone. I think if we go to host aggregates and we manage hosts, I think all we have to do is add that new machine right here and hit save and he removed him from that region and added him to this availability zone or added him, removed him from that availability zone and put him in the new region availability zone I think that's good. We can go back to hypervisors. Now they're all in the same one. Nice and unified. And we have just successfully added capacity uh, to our compute host. Let's go ahead and take a look at GG one more time. Uh, back to machines. He's just a compute host. Let's go back to hypervisors and just for fun let's go to instances I have one out here that has one CPU on it let's launch an instance that will take up a bunch of CPUs that'll take four we have eight let's see if it'll take we got one that will take six there's eight we don't have eight available Well, let's create one large one. And we'll just use default because we're going to kill it as soon as we're done here. Let's launch it. Okay, so that is a total. We've got a large and a small. That's one, and that's, I say four, so that's five. And we have eight available. So let's launch another one. and make it a medium that'll give it two more so that would be what five six seven we have eight CPUs available so that will tell us if we are able to use our new capacity default throw that in there and launch it it's building spawning This is just to prove that we can use that new Nova Compute node. Let's go take a look at hypervisors while that's being scheduled. There it is. It's already pulled that CPU in. So it has worked. We have successfully used our new capacity. Okay, so that's how you add capacity to OpenStack and to Landscape. On the next video, we're going to do something much harder, and I'm going to show you how to remove capacity or scale back. And it's a lot more difficult than adding capacity. So that's it for this one. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.